Let's work here. Good. With Duke, place is the hardest thing for him. Sit. Because he does not like people can good boy. Come on, place. I'm tapping and holding that red button, guiding him up with the leash and pulling up, telling him sit, right? In the beginning, I start off with a bunch of these because he puts up the biggest stubborn fuss it about place work. He is a massive controller of space. Um, so he's a really pushy, pushy guy. Come on. Place. Ah, good boy. That was better. I only had to tap the red button instead of hold, which means he's calming himself down. I'm on a 45, right? So place work is really difficult for him. Good boy. Come on. Place. Ah, good boy. I only had to tap one time there. Good. Here. Yes, good boy. If I step forward into him, that means put your butt to the ground. Very good boy. That's dominance moves forward, submission moves back and down. So I can ask him to stay just by stepping into him. So right here I'm going to do a place which I want him to stay on. Come on. Place. Ah, I didn't tap there. Gave him a freebie. Oh, good. Sit. Didn't tap there. Stay. So if he goes to move off of it, what I'm going to do is take a big step forward like I want to step on his toes. When he sits back and down, I'm going to release that pressure. Good. Good place, buddy. That's good. I know. Come on. Good boy. I'm going to step forward. You'll see I'll get that sit. Good. And then I release that pressure back. I'm trying to multitask here. Come on. Let's go. Place. Place. Yep, I tapped twice there. Oh, sorry, Ben. Sit. Good. So he's always going to try and test. Come on. But I'm always going to have the collar on to follow. Good boy. Let's go. To follow through. Um, mainly because with a dog like him, he is massively testing boundaries. He's had a lot of time to create these bad habits. Good. What he doesn't realize is at home, the calmer that he is, the more enjoyable life is. A dog that's massively anxious all the time and adrenalized all the time is not a happy dog. It's a, actually a psychological issue. It's as if we were on a roller coaster at Lagoon 24-7. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Never knowing, good learning shake. He's like, oh dang, that was hard. Never really learning how to calm himself down and to focus on somebody other than himself. So since he did that little learning shake to give him the benefit of the doubt, we were on 40. I'm going to go to 12. Come on, place. Ah, good boy, right? Giving him the benefit of the doubt. All that thinking that he's doing. Very good boy. Such a good boy. Yeah. I only give him calm affection. I won't get excitable with him. Um, I wouldn't play with him um, right now anyways because a lot of his issues are from adrenaline. So the least amount of adrenaline we can pump into his body, the better. Over here? Good. So now we're working on a 12. Right? So we started an 8, went up to a 40, went back down to about a 24, and now we're working on a 12. Place. Nice. What a good boy. Very good boy. You're calming yourself down, huh? When they start to lick their lips and they open their mouth and pant just a little bit normal like that, that means he's calming down and he's going into that accepting state of mind. Versus where he's putting up a fuss and his lips are tight. Um, it almost looks like a smile, a tight-lipped smile. Um, and that's tension. This is all relaxation. Good boy. I like that. Yeah, I do. Oh, I fall asleep, huh? This way. Very good. Since he did really good at that one, I'm going to move on to over here. Right? Duke, sit. Stay. Uh-uh. Step into him. Stay. Good. Very nice. Duke, here. Good boy. That was better. Right? So first thing out in the morning, out of his kennel, you're going to have about five straight minutes of going up, down, up, down, up, down on the collar. And then this is what you get, where he accepts it. He's like, okay, I'll be a follower. I don't need to be a leader. I really suck at it. And then we could do the fun stuff. Right here. Automatic sit. Oh, what a good sit. Thank you. Stay. Uh-uh-uh. Stay. Take a step forward. Use that red button at the same time. Here. Yes. I know. I bent down first. Come on. It's not going to eat you. <laughs> It's like, I really don't like that leash dragon. Good boy. Very nice. This way. Stop quick right here. Sit. I'm going to remind him to put his butt to the ground. Release. Good boy. So with the halty as a backup, halty is really nice because it is over a pressure point that creates calm. 
it's not applying pressure like when you do the figure eight. The figure eight applies all of the pressure right here, um, actually at the carotid, which is why I don't do that very often. Um, the halty applies all of its pressure right here at the bridge of the nose. So when I apply pressure up, you can see it applies pressure right there. When I drop that down, he could bite, he could drink, he could eat. See how nice and loose. There's no pressure on his face right here. Typically, I'll use a really light this is a little bit heavier just because it's his normal leash, but I'll use a light rope so it makes him feel like there's no pressure whatsoever. He gets a complete release. Come on. So with just the halty work, all I have to do is stop, pull straight up, and release. Do you see that? How responsive? Come on. First time I did this stuff with him, not so much. Good boy. Come on. So right here I want the action first. I teach the action and then we teach the word. Words have no meaning without follow through, correct? Right here. I give him the opportunity to think about it, and I'm like, oh, and you screwed up, <laughs> right? What's the worst that can happen? I remind him. I want him to think because he's a smart dog, and the reason why he's so naughty is he was very, very frustrated. Come on. So to compensate that frustration, we're going to work his brain off so that nothing in life matters except good, except for what we're doing. Oh, look at that face. Look at that tired face. I like that. Good boy. Except for what we're doing together and that's going to decrease all of his anxiety and pushiness everywhere else, which is what made his socialization skills get better. He wasn't already round up and in the red zone when we started to socialize him. So his socialization skills are just going to get better and better the more that he comes. Good boy, Duke.